intelligence has nothing to do with creativity, or creativity doesn't have anything to do with intelligence. Mm -hmm. They've done studies. But creative people oh, know how to play. And they don't, they try, they start problem solving, and they're just playing like it's a game. And that's why creative people are so valuable in business, because they'll try things, and it's just fun for them. And you alluded to the fact uh, that artists are really so important in the world. It's an ensemble that is it's true. That's interesting that they came up with that, because that's exactly the way, you know, how I relate to a lot yeah. of people. You know, we're going to grow old, but don't grow up. That's the secret, you know? And also, may I say something also about, um, I'm sorry, I'm just going um, <laughs> to, the piece that you have back there with the map of, of Africa, mm -hmm. and it relates to um, the musician, Louis, yeah, Louis, Louis Armstrong, Armstrong, again with the arts. Louis Armstrong was a street kid in New Orleans. His mother was a part-time prostitute. His father left him. He got in trouble like all kids do. And he was sent to um, a home for whatever kids. And it was there that he learned to play the trumpet. Hmm. And if it wasn't for that, the arts, learning an instrument, how that saved his life, changed the history of American music. I mean, I mean, what a wonderful yeah, and he never forgot his roots, and um, he was, he just changed jazz, yeah. creative jazz, along with the Africans. Um, with what, what whatever, are, that's another story. There's a great poster there, and they're all, the playing his trumpet, all the colors and stuff. Oh, that's it's, you know, it's kind of a Peter Max type thing. Oh, yeah, I love it, but I just want to share what you brought to my mind. Oh, yeah, thank you, you, thank you. you talking about your art, thanks thank so much. You. We have another question from Ainsley. Yeah. The recording. When you started out talking about it as a kid and making stuff in the sand that washed away. Like, you know, that's it. some of the conceptual artists have, have the same idea where the pieces are just made for the installation and then they don't stay. They don't they then they're gone. Exactly. The other thing I wanted to say is that I don't know if anyone else got this, but but I, I told you before when I saw John's pieces. Immediately, I thought of the uh, most famous person who did just found objects, Marcel Duchamp. Oh, and some of your pieces really remind me of Duchamp. Oh my gosh, Duchamp. yes, you're right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Especially that one for some reason, now that you mentioned it. You know, the wheel on the chair, the stool. Right. I wonder if mm -hmm. uh, somewhere down in there you. you Seen his work or something else? Oh, yeah, subconsciously course. got planned. Of course, as an art student, I studied just about every artist that they you know, that they wrote about. You know. Well, it's part of that metamorphosis that I was talking about. You know, yeah. that there is a there's a subliminal stream in art that comes out through individual artists. So it's hard to say. I mean, you know. Picasso, Pablo Picasso, I'm sure would would disagree with me, being that he believed that he owned everything. But on the other hand, it's what comes forth out of history and time through it, through artists as sort of the medium themselves. You know, so that's important to to consider when you think when you see oh this person's. Derivative. It's not exactly that. There is an expression from the subconscious that really is coming forth, and it's not necessarily imitative. It's really just part of that stream. James Joyce said, "Here comes everybody." Here comes everybody. Yeah, that's right. He was right. Yeah. Over and over and over. Again. Yeah. <laughs> And thank you so much for mentioning that. I didn't think of the shop. Good job. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, great. Hold that thought. <laughs> so insightful, thank you. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. And your questions? Yeah. Okay. So, I'll conclude and with thanks from me and from John and from Dana and from each one of you. I appreciate you being here and your comments and your
your insights and your your perspectives and your insights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. 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 Thank